Football Football Show presented by the Chevy Silverado, the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, the NFL Week 12. Hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving weekend. If you didn't watch our Thanksgiving show, you can go back and watch it. Of course, we are already arguing. How is everybody doing today? Good? Great. Good job by the Bears to win on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So we're predicting that now. Made it yeah. uh, Michigan first time in a long, first time well, ever yes. in the BCS. Yes, hey. yes, oh. hey. Congratulations. See, see in the Big Ten championship yeah. game, yes. my friend. Uh, in Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah. How, how's that going to end up this weekend, though? How's that going to end up? Well, this is, this, this is it already happened. On Sunday, yeah. By the time this airs, we already know Michigan. You know how it ended. Michigan beat Ohio State. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Well, it already, well, it already happened, happened. Yeah, so it is Sunday I don't morning, know what Dion. you're talking about. Yeah, that, well, that, yeah, well, 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 Ohio well, State did well, a, they played we, a great uh, game. Yeah, yeah, well. Ohio State played a great game. Michigan fought hard. They fought hard. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is wonderful. We're shooting this way early in the week, so we can just start making up things that happen over the weekend. A lot of people I mean, didn't give Michigan a chance. I knew they would win the <laughs> I, did, I did, too. They're in the playoff. They, and fantastic. I don't know what's going to happen with Wisconsin. but No, well, they won. They won. They got the ax. What do you mean? You don't no, know. no, no. I mean, oh, for the Yeah, the Big Ten Championship game. It'll be great. It'll be great, great between game. the two of you. Yeah, so uh, we're just kind of making up what, what happened over no, the weekend. No, we're not making up. Oh, we're, well, it happened. Because the it Bears, happened. too. I mean, yes. Yes. They Bears won. and the they Cowboys, won. they all won. Okay, so... Uh, let's look at last week's records. Dion, you came back firing. It was 10 well, that's who I am. That is who that, you are. Why, why uh, would, you said that like you didn't expect that. No, well, Can I you, mean, you, you, you know, you were, you've been having a hard month or so. Yeah, but my mind is still, my okay. faculties have still been sharp. I don't know. Dan kept saying that you were in a, in a coma for a lot of it, so I didn't know. But that's who Dan is. <laughs> you can't listen to Dan. Uh, Dan, you went six and eight. I suck. Wow. I suck. I suck. Wow. What do you want me to say? I suck. I, mean, I suck. I don't know what else I can say. I like Thank you. people keep thinking they got me. Like, damn, you suck at this. Damn, you ever <laughs> all your picks stink. Big, big cat. No shit, I suck. <laughs> I always suck. Self awareness is key there. I, suck. I mean, yeah. I won my game of the year. Just people forget that. Okay, that's all I want to say. Uh, Dave, you went eight and six. Mm-hmm. How are we feeling? Oh. I'm all right. Just all right? He yeah, took yeah. some chances. You know what? I'm proud of him because he took some chances and he figured. He ended up a winner, at least eight and six is winning. He, but he I, took some chances. I'm trying to see what I lost on. Uh, well, Green Bay, that guy, I mean, Kurt, Kurt Savage. Cousins was begging mm-hmm. the Packers to intercept, to intercept the ball. Savage could not catch it. I mean, Cousins was lofting interceptions. They couldn't catch it. So that should have been when Dallas was a terrible pick. Buffalo, I didn't see coming. Bears almost won. Tennessee, how can anyone see that coming? And New Orleans is wrong. So I stand by most of my picks. That's fair. Let's get into the storyline games of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. It's hardworking, and the design is big, bold, and commanding. The Silverado is a truck that turns heads. Let's start with... Dave, I'm just going to lob this up to you. The Titans at the Patriots. The Titans, obviously, with one of the worst losses of the season to the Texans. Patriots destroy the Falcons a couple Thursdays ago. What do you think about this game? No, Patriots defense is like the 85 Bears. I mean, they give up no points. We're we're huge favorites in this game, relatively speaking. Who would have thought that? We're in first place in the division. Uh, Everything is rolling. Mattress Mac put $2 million on the page to win the Super Bowl. He's going to win 50. He and I are best friends. (laughs) This is exactly what I thought was going to happen with the Patriots. I told Dion. Dion laughed at me. He mocked me. Uh, He made fun of me. And once again, I am dead ass right. There's certain things that have been correct for me over the past two decades with this company. When shit's hitting the fan, when people are coming at me, this, that, the other thing, I can always depend on the New England Patriots. And I will, they, they win this game, and I keep saying it, I've said it, they go into the Super Bowl. They're probably going to win the Super Bowl. Bill Belichick may be one of his greatest coaching jobs. And everyone's like, oh, Brady, Brady. And I love Brady. He's the greatest quarterback, but it's still the greatest coach. With all said and done, Patriots got to make the right move. We've got four more Super Bowls coming with uh, Belichick. Dion, you want to? I, I love his soliloquy. I love his rant. Um, don't make any sense. Didn't make any it, sense. It makes no uh, sense. But- the, the Patriots are not going to go to the Super Bowl. Let's get that straight. I love the Patriots. I love Bill Belichick. He's the be- He's the greatest ever. I'm a Mac Jones fan. When I saw Mac Jones with his shirt off, immediately I was a fan because there's no way. It's no way. You know who he looks like? Built like that. I love it. You know who I he reminds it. me of? Uh, what's his name? Oh, Tom Brady when he got drafted. <laughs> Tom Brady when he got drafted looked exactly yep. like him. Billy, he's like he looks like a Billy Joe Tolliver. You remember Billy Joe Tolliver? That's who, that, Billy Joe yeah, Tolliver. that's who he's built like. I love Mac Jones and his defense is unbelievable. I'm picking him definitely over the Titans, but I just think they're a year away from 
accomplishing the things that Dave uh, wants them to accomplish, Super Bowls and go. I think they're a year away from that. All right, but you, you but, so when you says comical, fine. You, but you think Matt Jones could win four Super Bowls with Belichick? I, I, I don't know. He won't lose it for you. I don't know if he's ready to win it. He won't lose it for you. I, just the fact we're having this conversation. I know, it's insane. Face yeah. is beautiful. It's, it no, is, I like it. it is I crazy. like that kid, man. The kid is sharp, and the kid is accurate. I love the accuracy of the kid. Okay, so four Super Bowls, even money. That's fine. I can do that. <laughs> Dan? <laughs> All right, so much like Dave, uh, the Patriots are his binky. Well, the world's a big, scary place. He knows he can always go home and, and cuddle up with the Patriots. I think you'll notice, uh, and, and KFC was not ob- on the show, obviously. He's in line with me. You'll notice the shift in what I'm doing and talking about the Patriots. I have, I'm relenting. I know that they're really, really good. I know they'll probably win the Super Bowl. The only thing I can do now is throw in like random, hey, maybe this or maybe that. Like Dave can tell you, there was a time when I was like, hey, maybe the Steelers. And he would just laugh in my face. And every year I'd be like, maybe the Steelers. And it just wouldn't work. Uh, The only thing I have right now is maybe peaking too early. But Brad, Brad. <laughs> there's that laugh, and there's that when you said he just well, laughs I mean, at you. Bell, there it is. The, the, the Patriot teams don't do that. Yeah, yeah. like Bill Belichick. <laughs> Bill Belichick, once he gets them going up, they just keep going up and I, up and up and just, up. They I just, never come down ever. Yeah, my my, my eh, main, the 18 and 0 team. My, that one peaked a little early. My main point is, I don't know how you can look at the AFC right now and not think the Patriots are playing the best football right now. Like you can't. It's it's. I have to roll over and let. You know, Dave just kind of walk over everyone and, and puff out his chest, and it's just, that is what it is. You've worked with Dave forever. You know, you said the laugh, but also, like, the look in his eyes. As oh, soon yeah, as you said no. that, he didn't even let well, you, like, finish his changed. sentence. I mean, well, the Patriots don't. They're yeah. not one of those teams that peak too early. They yeah. just don't. Yeah, they no, just don't. So you're just, laying, you're just giving it up at this point. I, I've felt it for a few weeks now. I, I, I'm completely just, I'm resigned to it. I'm resigned to it. In Sunday's... It's so fast, like for, for close to 10 to 12 years, I didn't care about Sundays because it's like the Patriots are going to be 11 and 5, 12 and 4, 13 and 3, by first. It's just guaranteed. That's kind of how I feel again. Like I, I, that Thursday night football game, it's like I'm half paying attention. I look up, oh, it's 20 to nothing. It's like we just we, we put them in a blender and we just, I, it's, it's boring. Yeah. I sat down before we taped this show and I was just like, Chiefs might might have something again, and Dave just like giggled in my face. I mean, yeah, he's, All right, he's not even like kind of. Yeah, pushing. whatever. I tried Chiefs, maybe. I don't know. Dion, are, are you are you with it too? You uh, think? Uh, I know you said next year, not, but no, no. I think next year, Mac Jones. I love him. We all adore him. But that playoff pressure, guys. You you. It's hard to trust a rookie <laughs> getting to that point, and he is going to lay an egg. Yeah, but they're going to lay a turn. They're, they're defensive football team. Also, they yeah, don't have to but score he, a lot. You're going to you're gonna have to score. Also, you're going to have to score. Dion, I, I love you, Dion, but let me just give you a little tip. Like, that's not. You don't think Mac Jones played in a big game before? Not well, like this. Play, he not played in, in every big game. The no. entire last year was a big game for him. No, when college, you have the, yeah, well, you have the best players um, in, in the country. That's not a big game. That's a darn practice. I okay? still think those are big games. Mac Jones. Mac Jones, sooner or later, he's going to show you he's a rookie. I love the kid. I love his completion percentage. I love what he's about, but it's coming. I I don't disagree with that. And then the defense is going to just be like, well, just get that ball right back for you. A lot of confidence. It's a complete football team. They can run the ball. They play defense. They rush the passer. I mean, it's a complete, complete football team. Let let me tell you this. Let me tell you this quick story. Uh, Sean Payton called me years ago. And he was asking about, I'm not going to name the, the receiver that played for the Patriots that was really good. He said, what do you think about him as a corner? I said, Coach, I love him as a corner, but what, this is what I want you to do. Go and watch the film on him when Patriots didn't have the lead. Because now you know who's who. It's easy to be aggressive. It's easy to be a dog when you're up by 15 and you're up by 20. It's a whole different game. It's a whole different play calling. Like, right now... They're up. They're up, and they're aggressive as I don't know what because they're up. When you get into a dogfight with somebody like Kansas City and you can't be that aggressive because one bad call, it could, it could cost you. It's a whole different game. It's, uh, it's actually when we had uh, Julian Edelman was watching the Thursday night game against the Falcons in the office with us, and he was like, I just want to see Mac Jones with like a sprained ankle or something. 
That's basically the last thing that you need, like. To know that he's the real yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 that's it. But it's, Dion, just give up. Don't, don't fight him. <laughs> no. It's not worth fighting. Every now and then you can throw in just a random, oh, like, hey, you know. Uh, I don't know the. Let me think. I there's no even there's not even good teams in the AFC anymore. I mean the Chiefs. Maybe. The Ravens. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about the Ravens. Ravens. In a little bit. But before we do that, the, let's do. Don't uh, discount the Ravens. Yeah, I, no, I know. We're gonna. Ravens, yeah, we're gonna please. talk about them uh, in Sunday Night Football. But first, we're gonna talk about the Rams at the Packers. Dan, I will start with you. The Rams coming off of a bye. Uh, they have Odell now. They have Von Miller now. The Packers lost to the Vikings. I, what do you think about this game? I, I hate this game because I, I kind of have sworn off the Rams and looking at what they've done this year, they had a big, big game against the Bucks week three, and that's kind of it. They haven't really played well against any other good teams. But this is a classic, like, buy low, sell high spot. The Rams, two losses in a row, buy week, figure some stuff out. Packers, Aaron Rodgers a little bit dinged up. I'm going to take the Rams. I don't know. This is probably a stupid, stupid decision on my part. I think the Packers' defense got a little exposed against the Vikings, where it's like, oh, maybe they're not as good as everyone thinks they are. So I'm going to take the Rams. Yeah, Dion, uh, right now Aaron Rodgers is banged up with a toe injury, so we'll see what that means for him. But what, nah, I mean, he, Aaron, he's playing. Aaron Rodgers playing. He, you, he, yeah, he's playing. I, I don't like the Rams for some reason. I I was I adored them, but something about them, I don't think they have, and they've acquired everything, yeah. but they're not together yet. I think yeah. it's going to take a couple more weeks until they get together. They just got to ease into the playoffs. I don't like them this week against Green Bay. I never like a West Coast team going to, to Green Bay, and it's going to be cold. It's probably going to be 20 darn degrees there, and I don't like West Coast teams going there Speak, in the, in the win, winter-like Speaking condition. of Glenny, we... Do you have a weather report for Green Bay? What's it look like? Yeah, it's going to be sunny, but it obviously is going to be. Ooh, that's close. It's going to be sunny, but it's obviously going to be like Green Bay weather. It's going to be in the 30s, and it's going to be windy. It might be like 15 mile an hour winds. So that could affect the Rams. Fair. Yeah. Dion, you, you think that will that will affect the Rams? All right, Dave. I know you you immediately wanted to stop when you, Dion well, you said he doesn't yeah, like the Rams. Yeah, off the bye week, that gives Odell like a little mouse chewing all the wires. Uh, <laughs> He to just totally destroy this team. Um, he really, his impact was felt in the first game where they got destroyed. He's a team killer. Uh, and the Packers should have won. <laughs> the Packers should have won. That, that guy's savage. I mean, catch the freaking ball. And that wasn't the only drop. He dropped like three interceptions. I know that's why he plays defense still. I could have caught it. Um, and I don't know how the ball comes out. He had total control of it. Hold on to it. Uh, I think the Packers are still very good. Two is too low for me. I love the Packers here. If it wasn't for Bram Walker, I'd probably go pretty big on it. <laughs> ricochet shot for him. He's not even on the show. Uh, oh, that's not a ricochet. No, it's just, it's just direct, point. direct yeah. shot. Okay, so let's talk about the Ravens then. The Browns at the Ravens. Dave, you laughed really hard when we well, talked about the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens. The, the, Ravens, the, the Ravens are like the worst 7-3 and three team ever. I mean, they really are. They struggle with everybody. Lamar Jackson, I like him as a human. I've always said that. I think he tries really hard. But they're not very good. But the Browns stink. I, this, this, this is two teams I don't think are very good. I, I'm going to take the Ravens at home. It won't shock me. No, you know what? I'm going to give the Browns. I'm going to give the Browns. Chubb back in the mix. Healthy. I'm going to take the Browns. Because I don't think I, – I do a fast forward. The Ravens aren't 8-3 and three good. They're just not. They should have lost the Lions on field goal. Barely beat the Bears. Uh, they're not a good team. If the Patriots played them – we touch them up to the tune of like 49 to like 10. <laughs> uh, Dan, also though, with Baker Mayfield saying this is the most banged up he's ever been. They're, I mean, they have no offense. Oh, he, wow. Baker Mayfield. I had never seen a quarterback say this is the most banged up uh, I've excuse ever me, been. Excuse what quarterback me. says that? Excuse Who me. says excuse that in the NFL? Uh, have, you yeah. have you ever heard Tom Brady? Have you ever heard Drew Roth Brees, does it? Manning? Ro yeah, Rosenberger will say that. Yep, yeah, yeah. exactly. He's that kind of guy. I've never heard a quarterback say, this is it, the most bang okay. up I've ever been. Here's, here's all I'm going to say, because I'm happy these two teams are playing. I actually love what Dave just did. That trick where he did, I'm looking ahead, the Ravens aren't 8-3. and three. That was genius. So I'm going to take the Browns. But here's what I'm going to say, Dion. Baker Mayfield has, like, significant, significant injuries. Lamar Jackson keeps missing games because he's got a little poopy butt. He's What's significant going on? Who's tougher? What significant injuries does Baker Mayfield have? He has a torn labrum. He has a, a, a bone bruise in his knee, and I'm pretty a sure he's got, bruise, a heel, a he's got a heel issue. Yeah, he hits foot. Yeah, 
knee, shoulder. But Dion, yeah. I know you're a big stat guy. You always say this. I'm looking at Lamar, 64 complete uh, completion percentage, 14 L TDs, Lamar eight interceptions. Not, Lamar has not been great this year. What L Lamar has been doing when all when everything breaks down, he runs. Well, he's a running quarterback. He runs. We've that, 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 that keeps that moves change. That moves yeah, change. That's what he's been doing. That's what he's been doing this season. But it's no way. What was the final score last week? NFL, like I do not want my NFL quarterback to say, I'm really banged up this week. I, I, that, that's right. Well, I now. Like that's that a prelude either. to no, I'm not going to play playing. well. He, first of all, I don't think Baker said it. I think his wife said it. But Baker Mayfield like should actually sit out. Like he, He's a worse. detriment. He's playing poorly. He's a detriment to his team right now. He should get healthy. I like that. It's a credit to I him agree for with you. toughing it out and going out there and trying to play every single Sunday. Someone in the Browns organization should step in and be like, dude, I don't think we're gonna, we have our best chance when you're this injured. And then you have Lamar, who Ooh, just period. needs to drink some fucking Pepto-Bismol and get out on the field. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like I'm Lamar, too. Ravens. I've actually, I, I have actually switched all my opinions on Lamar this year. Yeah. But Dion, something about him, he puts me in this I, spot. I like Lamar. I think Lamar, like, I, I, Lamar wants to win as much as any guy in the locker room. He cares about, he's just, I mean, he is what he is. I did think that Baker said it. Maybe he didn't. But, I mean, Lamar, it, it, it is kind of weird. It's just like we don't really know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with him. I hope he's okay. But he's been sick a few times this year. And it's kind of – it's a little bizarre. So um, – but, yeah, I'm going to take the Browns. They're, they're just a banged-up team. But I'll uh, – you know what? I'm switching. I'll take the Ravens. I'm going to take the Thank Ravens. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad. Dion, you're on the Ravens too, correct? I just think and the Browns I'm taking are the Ravens, so bad definitely. right now. They're I'm so taking bad. the Ravens and Lamar. We'll get to some more games in just a little bit, but let's go to hashtag I believe. Dan, I will start with you. Uh, this week, or last week, you said the Rams will be a one and done in the playoffs. They were on a bye. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking for week 12? I believe um, I believe the Cardinals are going to get the one seed. Dave made that bet uh, before the season. They've been, they've had a couple, you know, they obviously got crushed by the Panthers a couple weeks ago. But I've been super impressed with what they've done with Colt McCoy as their backup and no DeAndre Hopkins. Like, Cliff Kingsbury is a guy I've gotten on in the past, but I think he's doing a really good coaching job. I think that team, they're 6-0 and on the road. All their wins on the road have been by double digits. That's impressive. So I think the, I think the Cardinals are the best team in the NFC. They had a little dip, but they are, they're back right there, and I, I trust them the most. Dave, you said Patriots-Packers will be in the Super Bowl. Do you have something more for this week, or are you, you rolling with it? Patriots will be the number one seed in the AFC. Okay. There you go. So All it's right. Cardinals, Patriots. I mean, that yeah, would be I mean, that's that beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that you had just ever crowned me the a football genius. Yeah. Yes. You would just, you would, we'd have to like NFT that clip, and yeah. you just yep. have to walk around with it like Logan Paul on your two, neck. Yeah. That was like week two, right? <laughs> I did, yeah. I, well, I did Patriots before the season. I have the Patriots to win the AFC East, Patriots to win the AFC, and Patriots to win the Super Bowl. And then I had, after week one, On the Cardinals show. to win yeah. the NFC 13-1. to one. Yeah, you definitely have to walk around with that yeah. around his neck. All right, Dion, what do you have for this week? I have, with that win by Kansas City over the Cowboys, it will propel them to where they once were. Um, the quarterback, let me, let me tell you something. Th this guy, he's back, he's back to normal. He was trying to make big plays and throw the ball 100 yards down the darn field. But now he's taking what they give him. He's methodically just getting down the field, going back to Travis Kelsey. And let me tell you something, man. When he's on and getting the ball out of his hands, it's hard to deal with them. And that defense, the same, I think it was the same time frame as last season. They're stepping up slowly but surely, and they're becoming dominant. Yeah, defense played well. Let's get to the Sunday conversation. We'll send it over to Caleb and Glennie. Chase Rice. Chase Rice. You carry a gun? <laughs> Not all the time. Mm -hmm. In your truck? Yeah. Yeah. I knew that <laughs> just by looking at you. <laughs> what does that mean? You're a country music superstar, but people know you from other places too. Is that true? That's true. Men know you for their love of college football. <laughs> yeah. Women know you for their love of The Bachelor. <laughs> they thems love you for their love of the show Survivor. <laughs> Is that true? They, yeah, they, a lot of people know me for different reasons. Explain that show to me, Survivor. Where'd you choke the giz? <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> you, just, nah, you don't. You just, I just wanted a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. You don't really think about that. I didn't anyway. And you came in second place? I came in second place, yes. The guy looked like you. He beat me. That's what I tell people when I, when I start a bar tab. Runner up! <laughs> yeah, I, I do that from time to time. So after Survivor, what was next for you? Uh, NASCAR. NASCAR, what's that like? Uh, it's fast. I've heard NASCAR is like childbirth in the fact that you really have to be there to see it for yourself to really understand how cool it is. Exactly, you gotta go to a race. I've also heard that NASCAR is like childbirth because if you, if you do watch it, you're never gonna have sex again. You've done it all, man. Yes. You even won your high school state championship. Is that true, as a football player? I did. You're probably from a podunk little tiny town, didn't play anybody. Where I grew up, we played real competition. <laughs> we went to the same high school. <laughs> same state championship. You won that. We played real teams. You played the same teams as us. Whatever. A lot of people say country music fans are inbreds. Now, are those misconceptions or are they conceiving those inbred children on purpose? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think country music fans are inbreds. That, they're pretty normal. You were recently tied to Kristen Cavallari. <laughs> Is that true? I was tied to her, yes. I heard ties are like kissing your sister. I don't have a sister, so I don't know. Is that how it felt when you kissed her? Like she was my sister? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, not at all. <laughs> no. She, uh, no. <laughs>Thanks, guys. It's time for the Ain't Nobody Care game of the week, and boy, is it a disgusting wow. game. It is the Houston Texans wow. hosting the Jets. Dan, I'll start with you. We talked a lot about Joe Flacco last week. He didn't look awful. I mean, the, the Jets did lose to the Dolphins, but he didn't look too bad. No. And then, of course, the Texans beat the Titans, which was shocking. Yeah, I think David Culley should be coach of the year. Two wins for that <laughs> Texans team, is that's impressive. Like, why don't we give the coach of the year to the worst roster if they get a certain amount of wins? But uh, I'll take the Jets here. I think they're just a tiny bit better than the Texans. Also, the Texans just won a game. Give me the Jets. Dave? Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the Jets based on the Texans. You can't see them winning two in a row. But it just, when, when you have the Texans beat the uh, Titans, it just shows in this league. And I've dealt with this for two decades with the Patriots. Oh, who have you played this team, that thing? It is so hard to win this league. Like, everyone's getting played. You, you can never know who's going to jump up. So I never want to hear, well, they haven't played this team, that team, this team. It is hard to win in the NFL. A win is a win is a win, and that, that Texans-Titans game proved it. This is the Titan, or the, sorry, the, yeah, the Titan killer bowl. This is the Jets yeah. and the Texans beat the Which Titans. Which is crazy. Sure, that is crazy. Uh, Dion, what do you think about Tyrod Taylor? When he has played as the starter, they're two and two. Do you think that makes a difference? Tyrod Taylor is very serviceable. I, I think this is like his fourth to fifteen. Um, He's not a team killer. He's not a scheme killer. He's an adequate quarterback. He's a he's a filler. That's what he you know, you know when you go to those the award shows and they put the seat fillers in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when the real guy come in, they get up and move. That that that's what Tyrod <laughs> Taylor is. He he's a he's a filler. I would not pick the Jets up under no circumstance. I just can't get myself to do it. I tried. Uh, I, it's no way I could do it. And they're going to Houston. It's no way. I'm picking the Texans. And probably whoever wins this game gets the number two overall draft pick, assuming that the Lions just can't win a game. So Where's Jacksonville at? They have, they have three wins, right? Uh, they have two wins. The loser of this game, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it is, it's a lot on the line, even though nobody cares about the game. Yes. Uh, let's nobody go to cares. the rapid-fire games of the week presented by Cross Country Mortgage. When it comes to your mortgage, don't take any risks and go with the favorites over at Cross Country Mortgage. Even if you're not looking to buy a home right now, they can still help you out with a bunch of stuff like renegotiating your current loan terms. Go to crosscountrymortgage.com slash barstool. Cross Country Mortgage can take care of you through the home buying process. That's Cross Country Mortgage, LLC, NMLS 3029. All loans subject to underwriting approval, www.nmlsconsumeraccess.com. Dot org. Now, don't forget that we do have Glenny on weather, so if you guys have anything that you want to check, we can send it over to him. Let's start with the Bucks at the Colts. Dan, I will start with you. Uh, it's, it's no secret. We're, we're pending 
what happens with the Bucks. Yep. We don't necessarily know quite yet. I but... yeah, I'll just uh, I will take the Colts. Okay. If the Bucks somehow lose Monday Night Football against the Giants, because we are taping this early because it's Thanksgiving week, we do have uh, families in a life. Sometimes we need a break. <laughs> uh, if the Bucks lose to the Giants on Monday Night Football, give me the Bucks. There's no way that they'll lose four in a row. But I'll take the Colts as we're sitting here right now. Dave, I'm gonna take the Bucks. No matter what happens, the, 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 the Colts, the, the hungry dog runs faster, or whatever you want to say. The Colts are coming off that dominating win uh, against the Bills, so I think everyone's oh, the Colts, the Colts. Let's not forget. This is Carson Wentz versus Tom Brady. Yes, that's true. Uh, Dion? Give me the box. Yeah, well, oh, I'm with Dave. Dan yeah, switching yeah, to the box. Yeah. Just uh, no matter what happens. Well, I mean, what he just said. That yeah. Sentence. Like yeah. Carson Wentz versus Tom Brady. Yeah, it's, it's... yeah I'm taking the box. That's it. Yeah, and Dion, you said last week, too, that the, you think a lot of people are going to jump back on the Bucks bandwagon. So when they play yeah. the Colts, you think there are going to be a lot of people talking about them again? Yeah. The, the, the Bucks are they going to get through the kinks, and they're going to come out strong in the end. Let's go Eagles, Giants, same thing. Dave, I mean, we're, we're pending Monday Night Football, but what do you think about this divisional game? Yeah, the Eagles are the greatest, and Dan's giving me credit on these on these moves I do. <laughs> so I'm, now I'm in my home. I had to keep doing it, but I look at the Eagles, and there's no more 500 team in the league than the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. So I'm going to put them at 6-6 six and six with this. Dave, Eagles. or uh, Dan? I, I like the Eagles. The Eagles have figured something out. They're, like, Nick Sirianni deserves some credit because we all made fun of him. He's a weird dude. Weird press conferences, but he's playing to their strengths. He's saying Jalen Hurts is a run first guy. Let's run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. So give me the Eagles. Dion? Jalen Hurts is playing pretty good football, and, and I just can't get myself to pick a team from New York. I, I can't do it. I really can't. All right, let's go Panthers, Dolphins. Dion, I'll go right back to you. God, that's a good, that's really a good game. No, it's not. Is Cam still start? Cam still start? Cam start, yep. yep. Definitely not a good game, though. What do you mean by the? A good oh, you mean thing? it's like, gonna be competitive? Yeah. What I'm saying okay, is, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a pick 'em. You don't know yeah, who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant like is. it's like a game that people want to sit down and watch. Exciting. No, 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 no. no, no, no. All right, fair. You know what? I, I, I would take the Dolphins at home. Dave? Yeah, Dolphins have turned it around a little bit. I'll take the Dolphins. Cam, I, I kind of predicted what would happen with that. Like everyone's excited, uh, but you know. A lot of hype. He's about 500 years past his prime. And I'm going to take the Dolphins. Did you see the, <laughs> the uh, picture that I got of the woman just rolling up the Yes We Cam, sadly rolling up the Yes, yes. We Cam poster after they lost on Sunday? Yes, yes. So beautiful. Just it's, so beautiful. You can't take that home with you. No. Leave you the just, poster. That's, well, that's I the, don't my even know why you favorite. Would yes. That's my favorite <laughs> poster I've ever seen when we were at the airport after WrestleMania, and they had the... What is the Undertaker? It was, uh, it was uh, 31 and 0. Yeah, Undertaker 31 and 0, except he lost at WrestleMania. <laughs> and they, the and night they brought it to the airport. Yes, he had it standing. sitting sad. It was Undertaker. <laughs> we knew the result. It was no longer very sad. Oh, so good. Uh, I'll take. Uh, give me the Panthers. Okay. Give me the Panthers. I hate. I'm. I have a feeling I'm not going to win any of these games. You're none not that bad, games. huh? I, no. Yeah. None of these make sense to me. Okay. Again, self-awareness. Look, next one. Steelers, Steelers Bengals. Bengals. Go ahead. Uh, give me the Bengals. I don't know. Wrong. Again, going. Yeah, see? I, yeah, I, well, I you are. Go and I actually wrong. agree with you. I'm probably wrong. Well, this is, again, this is the new strategy. Six and four versus five, four and one. You're going to have six, four and one versus uh, six and five. Of course, I'll take the Steelers. Bengals aren't a seven, four team. Dion? I'll take the Bengals. I'll take the Bengals. I'm going with Dan, I'm going with Dan on this one. Okay. I, I just don't, I really don't trust the Steelers right anymore like I used to. Uh, Falcons and Jags, Dion. Oh my God, that's ain't nobody care special. Yep. Yep. Wow. Oh my God, four and six. Let me let me try to analyze it like Dave does. Four and six was two and eight. I would say the Jags are going to win this game, and they're going to be three and eight. Okay. Doing some numbers, Dave. I think the Falcons are a sneaky 500-ish team. They uh, they got embarrassed by the New England Patriots, but who doesn't? Uh, I will take the Falcons here. Dan? I'll take the Jaguars. Again, I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to win a game. <laughs> no, I really don't. I yes, really don't. Just, but now it's, you can only go up from here, right? Uh, you can just be happy. Let's go Chargers at Broncos, Dave. Broncos at home, tough place to play. Chargers coming off a nice win. I've been off on the Broncos all season, um, but I think they get the win here, and I keep doing the same thing. Again, these are two teams that are six, both six and five. Sounds about right for me. Dan? Yeah, this is uh, Broncos off a bye, off a loss, Chargers off a Sunday night football thriller. Give me the Broncos. Dion? I'm going to take the Chargers. I just think they bring more to the table than the Broncos. 
tremendously more. The Vikings at 49ers, both five and five, Dan. Uh, give me the 49ers. I'm you getting back yes, on. I'm back I know. On. He did, I think you were tweeting about it. He's weren't trying you? to get me back. I think he's put, like actually doing things to get me back on his side. He Debo Samuel. He was like, "Hey, our wide receiver, who's a top, I don't know, seven wide receiver. Let's just make him a running back for a Sunday." And he was the running back against the Jaguars, and he had 80 yards on eight carries, and he was awesome. I like Kyle Shanahan. He, he misses you being in love with him. Yeah. Although he did kick a field goal from the two-yard line after an 80-yard drive that was so stupid. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm back with him. Dave? I'll take the 49ers. Tough game, though. Dion? You want to talk this yeah. is when, he, when Dion says, this is a good game, this is a good no, game in this, terms this, of competitive. This, this, this good really uniform game, game, too. Yeah. This is a tough game to call because these teams are so even. Usually when that happens, I take the home team. But you guys know I'm a Mike Zimmer man. And I think about what Zim is going to do to the offenses, and Kyle Shanahan is pretty darn crafty and got some weapons. So you're going with the oh, 49ers? I'm going to go with the 49ers okay. at home, but I'm not, I'm not totally confident on that pick. Monday night football, the Seahawks versus the Washington football team. Just an all-time bad Monday night football game. Dave, I'll start yeah, with you. Yeah, that's horrible. Football team playing decent. They're, they're not a bad team. Seahawks stink. 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 So, I hate them. I, I, I hate them. And, and something I don't know what the line is in this game, but something tells me it'd be like a pick 'em, which is outrageous. I like Washington at home. Dion. I like Washington at home. Dan. I I'll just do a quick. I need a 30 second rant here that I I've said, but I'm gonna probably say it a million times next week. If you're uh, Russell Wilson and you have everyone in the media, every single reporter that's in your back pocket, uh, tweet out how you rehab for 19 hours a day and it's a, a modern miracle that you came back so quickly and your doctor did it like a, I've never seen a doctor post like a fucking transcript being like hey Russell Wilson I've never seen a finger more healthy I've never seen a finger rebound like this and then he does a video with his trainer and the succession music and then no, you fucking hi. suck That's you should have stayed injured you should have stayed oh, injured who is that is that Russell Wilson oh that would have been bad oh, oh. Pac-Man Pac Man, when are you fighting again? I want some more money. What are you doing, man? Can you hear him? They say, when are you fighting the oh, you can't hear him, I'm sorry. They say, when you fight, they say, when are you fighting again? He wants some more money. Oh, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect answer. He cut off. Yeah, man, 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 man of his word. He paid me the money. But yeah, Russell Wilson, you can't do all of that hoopla fanfare and then come back and score one touchdown in 19 drives stay in also a disrespect to the succession music i mean what are we doing that made, that video if, made no sense. if it wasn't for bran walker this would be a half a milli game for me oh because i looked at I, the yeah. spread it's one it's Seahawks. one so, so you're, washington's gonna win that game they they are going yeah. to just like seahawks suck they suck uh, that, that keep at thinking home they're good a half a they're not, game. Good. not for me i'm I, i'm retired Forever? responsibly Maybe. No, I'm responsibly retired. I, I people don't what get. They're like, oh, you're betting crazy. I was up. I was Dave, up is why I was doing it. I gave it all back because of Brandon Walker, and I'm like, oh, oh, I'm out. Dave, let me just ask you this: What if the Patriots mm. win their game on Sunday? Then you cash two. the yeah, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You might be back then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. You just can't watch the stream. But that's you. that's not you. No, Brandon will never that's, be on stream. That's actually you. very responsible of you because you would. Cash a bet to then place another bet. I, I put him. I withdrew my original last deposit, which I put in a couple months ago. I'm like, I, the vibes are so off. Vibes are bad. Let's get to before we get to the prime time picks of the week. Let's go to the fantasy football factory minute with Ben Mintz and Stephen Che. What's up, fellas? I'm Ben Mintz and I'm Stephen Che. We're the hosts of the Fantasy Football Factory podcast, and it's time to clock in for NFL Week 12. Who are you starting today, Mr. Shea? I'm starting Miles Gaskin. He's averaging 19 carries the past three weeks. Can also get it done in the receiving game with four receiving touchdowns on the year. Playing a tough Carolina D. Start Miles Gaskin. I'm starting Elijah Ward. He got me to Barstool Sports with that touchdown against Kentucky last year, and he's red hot. Coming off eight catches, 141 yards, and a touchdown. Look for him to emerge in the second half of the season. I'm going to sit Ryan Tannehill. Four picks last week going against a tough Pats D. Sit Ryan Tannehill. Pretty obvious, but I'm benching Baker Mayfield. He's playing hurt. The Browns' offense is a mess. Tough matchup on the road at Baltimore. We want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving weekend. Stay tuned for Dear Mr. Fantasy, 11.30 a.m. Eastern on the Barstool Sportsbook YouTube channel. Check out player props all season long on the Barstool Sportsbook app. Time to clock out.
It's time for primetime picks of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. Dependable and gritty like the people who drive them. Anything is possible with the Silverado. Uh, Dan, unfortunate for you last week, the Titans just absolutely laid an egg. That was your pick last week. You have won the suit already, though, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm down bad. I'm, I'm really just down bad as a person. Um, I, you still it's, get a suit at the fault. end of the year. It's my fault. I own it. I'm the only one who's actually owned it of the trio. Uh, I knew that not only did I fuck Dave out of that half a million dollar bet, but I knew that it would also Bots. fuck me. Uh, from karma vibes. Like, I, you just, I've been doing this game for too long to not know that, like, when the ship is going down and, and my actions brought the ship down. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll take the Washington football team. Okay, Dave. That's who I was taking, yeah. Washington. Okay. There we go. Together. Uh, Dion, what do you got this week? I'm taking, I'm taking Cincinnati this week. Cincinnati? Okay. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Dan, at least you get a suit from these guys, right? Do you even care about that anymore? Thank God we responsibly gamble because old Dan would have made a joke that he would have to sell the suit. And we're going to mm. cut this, but he would have made a joke that he would sell the suit mm -hmm. to... It is more responsible to gamble the way we do it because if Barcelona Sportsbook, you put the money in, you know, take it out. I would have been so mad yesterday. I wouldn't be gambling responsibly. I would have been. Yeah, no, you would have been irresponsible. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even know what Wichita State did, but I loved them late and I didn't touch it. You would have. Uh, they did not cover. Red. There you go. There so it is. You're back. You're back. If you're back. responsible, then, then you. Because see. I had UNLV. It was a one winner that I had late night. Yeah. yeah. All right. So happy Thanksgiving weekend, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Anything else, fellas? No, I, I'm very excited to, uh, we got Big Ten Championship, and then oh, yeah. uh, Michigan, I am going to go to the, I, hopefully we play in the Fiesta Bowl, because I can go yes. from Arizona oh. to yes. the. And I would like that, because then Wisconsin may be playing in the Rose Bowl, I don't know, I'd go maybe to Pasadena. Maybe yeah, pop yeah. on over. Do you, but two assaults, I don't know if you saw Brutus attack somebody, and a yes. LeBron attack, people, these people in Ohio, brutal. Brutal. All right, we'll see you guys next week.